Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chang from Hobo Venture. I'm Dan from Vagabond Away. And as you hear Dan say, "Good morning, Vietnam." Yes, we are in Vietnam. Yes, we are. In today's video, we want to share with you about how to enter into the Vietnam and what is the thing you need to be uh, be careful about that yeah. thing you need to know before you come to Vietnam. Yeah, a lot great. of people they still don't know that um, Vietnam is already open for three months. Some of people still thinking Vietnam is still in a one month turn, you know. Yeah. But we already applied the visa and we got it for three months. Three months, no visa runs. Uh, so. Um, you can Google online Vietnam on visa, but you'll know you're at the right one because the the name the URL will have .vn or excuse me .gov.vn. There's a bunch of agents who'll try to do this for you and they'll charge you money, but go with the government one. Yeah, and don't worry, I will put the link on my YouTube description or in my comment the first one, so you will get the right one to apply the visa. Exactly. And now there's not a lot of information required. You just fill out a form, pay 25 bucks, and make sure to write down the the coded information it gives you because you'll have to check after about four or five days to see if your visa has been issued, and it'll be a web page you go to. And one more thing, you have to be careful. Your anti entry. And your exit port have to be exactly the same. Yeah. So when you fill out the visa, it's going to ask you what, where you're going to enter, and it's going yeah. to be one of their international airports. And yes. you have to pick from the list on the on the application. It's a pull down button that you pick, and you have to exit from the one on the pull down. There'll be two different spots: one for your entry, one for your exit, and you have to match it. Meaning, if you put Da Nang, you fly in Da Nang. You if you for entry, if you put Hanoi for entry, you you fly out of Hanoi. That's the requirement. Yes, and also that uh, you will get uh, visa approval by the email. You have to check. Uh, they will not tell you in your email. You need to get a code, and then you have to check every two three days. Yeah, they won't email you when it issues. You have to go and check, and they'll yeah. give you the information about how to do that. True, and also it will take about four to ten working day. It depends. What is your luck? Uh, we got it about like three, four working days, and, and it was it. twenty-five bucks per person to get ninety days in Vietnam, and it didn't work when it first came out back in August. So we hear we didn't apply until like around October or something, and no, it was working. November. So it's working now. November. November. Okay. Yeah, and also, um, so this is about the visa that you need to understand and be careful about that. The next one is. About the airport, so uh, we choose to be arrival in Da Nang International Airport. Yeah, Da Nang. And so one thing is shot us is when we arrive in the airport, then was looking around for the ATM. Yeah, we so our just so you know our normal routine is we land in a city, we find an ATM and we get local currency out. Uh, and before we even get on the plane, we check what the conversion rate is, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so we know, like for example, if the conversion rate is seven thousand to one, like it, uh, you know, it depends what country it is, but like in Da Nang or in Vietnam, it's twenty five thousand to one, roughly. Yeah. So you need to know how much money to ask for uh, when you go to an ATM. Um, and later on, Chung is going to tell you which ATMs are best. Once you're on the ground in the city, but at the airport, you're probably only going to be able to get a million or two out um, at the ATMs there. We found in Da Nang, and those are outside the, the terminal. terminal. Yes. And so you walk normally when we walk in, we get the money, and then we go try to buy a SIM card. We get we the users there's four or five agents. You pick which SIM card has the best deal, but we didn't have any. We didn't have any Dong. Yeah, but. Uh... 
Well, and luckily my phone can be used, but don't care about that. So now I want to tell you about the SIM card. I just read about one month ago, someone wrote that they bought a SIM card in the Dana Airport and it's deactive after 36 hours. So it turned off after 36 hours? Yeah, so they, they went to the uh, official store and to check about that, the store lady said that there's an old SIM card, it's not registered in our network anymore, so you need to look for the official SIM card. So uh, that so, means that the person probably sold them an old SIM card and kept them the, the money, yeah. which isn't a lot of money, frankly, but it's just an annoyance. And so that when they landed and they're on the ground in the city, they had to go to a local store and that's when the people told them that, that they got scammed. Yeah, it's so sad. Scammed for almost nothing, though, like $10 or something. I mean, yes. And right. uh, the one thing is, I now teach you how to avoid this scam. Oh, okay. Okay. So I found out that there is a website, it's called Cloak, K L O O K. Right. And don't worry, I will put the link on the YouTube description. You can buy that before you arrive in Vietnam. So um, it's a, like a SIM card. You bought it before you arrive, and then so you will collect the SIM card on the airport. When, when you land? When you land. It have three airports for you to choose in Vietnam. The first one is Ho Chi Minh Airport. The second one is Hanoi. The third one is Da Nang Airport. So before you leaving uh, your country, bought the SIM card, it's only like $8 for 30 days. Four gigabyte for you per day. Okay, it's only eight dollar, nine dollar. Okay, so when you arrive, they will send you to teach you where to correct the SIM card. They will where to, activate where to pick it up. Where to pick it up? Yes. Right. And in, then, the, in the airport, they teach you where to pick it up. They they will send you a list, and and in the website, they teach you also where to pick it up as well. And I read the review is very legit. It's three thousand people buying that, and they have a very good review. Like four point seven, right? Yeah, and they they are happy. They the SIM card is work coverage is good. You know, so yeah. I will send you the link at least you can use. So why do you need your SIM card when you first land at the airport? It's because sure. you want to ride uh, app taxi, like in this case in Vietnam, Grab. Yes. And it'll be much cheaper. It's very cheap if you use Grab. It's not only cheap. It's easy. You don't need a communication. No need to bargain about price. No need to tell where you want to go. The app is like an Uber app. You just put and it will send you to your destination. You can put uh, that using the credit card or you want to put as using the cash. Both of them is work. Right. So you want to install the Grab app on your phone before you fly to the country. So once you get that SIM card at the airport, it'll tur turn on your phone. You'll be able to book a taxi. And so, so that's kind of the way to think about the order and what you need to do to get you know, get through to and the only and, and remember what we said about the visa. There's only certain airports you can land at. If you buy the Kluk one, you can only arrive at those three airports. Yes, true. And uh, just let you know about some information that we bought the SIM card on the town in Dana is for the Vina phone is one hundred fifty nine thousand, which is six dollar fifty cent a month. Per day, I can have six gigabyte uh, the internet, 200 minute talking, the call, and 200 SMS. For Vintel, it's 135,000 per month, which is $5.50. You can get five gigabyte per day. And once you've learned to use all the apps, the Chang will sh provide that link to the app one. Yes, yes. That means that once you have that connectivity to the internet, you can do everything, Facebook, WhatsApp, Skype, you don't need any of the connections back in your home country. Yeah. You're on the fly now in Vietnam. Oh, one more thing is you need to unlock your phone. Okay. <laughs> and also that... Are you now, listening, Americans? <laughs> you have to unlock your phone. And also, now it's the one thing that you have to be careful in all the airports. And my friend have a, as, didn't have this very bad experience. Oh, yeah, listen to this too. Yeah, listen carefully and... I feel so shame on that because he is Asian. How could he make this mistake? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so would you want to tell them about yeah, that? Yeah, so now you now you got your SIM card in there. You turn on your phone, grab that, pops up, mm -hmm. and you put in the hotel name or, or Airbnb, wherever you're staying. The price comes up and it's it's almost free. You hit, you hit the button and it, it gives the link to the car. Yeah. And now you walk out of the airport and you're looking for that Airbnb license plate and somebody's going to walk No, up. Grab license plate. 
I'm sorry, grab license plate. Yeah, whatever the number is, it'll show you on grab what your taxi is. That's all you need to see. They know where to take you. You don't have, like I said, no, no negotiating, uh, no explaining where to go. It's all in the app. And now you're just looking for that license plate. Someone's going to tap you and say, are you here for the grab? And you might think, oh, this no, is how helpful. They'll say, I'm your grab driver. Oh, yeah, I'm your grab driver. Come with me. Yes. Guess what? That's not your grab driver. You know why I remember that is because when we are waiting for our luggage in Danan International Airport, they have a big TV screen yeah. showing the scam and tell us all the tourists, be careful about the grab scam. Yeah. The government also say that. So remember, get your phone and only go to the car who is registered the same with the phone, yeah. you know? So you no need to talk to anyone, just follow whatever your phone is here to right. tell you. And so it's very unusual, um, those circumstances, but in this one case, we have never seen it anywhere else. It might be in other airports, but in Vietnam, but you walk, you walk to the area, it'll show on your phone where to go for the grab, you walk to that area and stand there and you look for that license plate. If people tap your shoulder or say I'm your driver, or any, you don't care about any of that. All you want to see is that license plate. True, true, true. So be careful about that. Yeah. And the last one that is very valuable for you guys also. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's about where to get money in Vietnam. Oh, yeah. Remember we told you that Chung will tell you where, which ATM to go to? Well, this is time. Yeah, because most of, our, most of the ATM right now, they can only can, you can withdraw about two million. Right. About uh, three million, about a hundred dollars yeah. uh, each time. But this bank is called NB Bank. If you look for this bank, you can withdraw five million Vietnamese dong, which is uh, $205. Yeah, so you can imagine if you uh, how valuable that is to do one transaction where you have $200 worth of Vietnamese money, which is $5 million, rather than going back each day and having to get more money out each time you're paying a fee. So it's MB. M is in Mary, B is in Betty. And that's the bank you're looking for. Yeah, and also if you uh, want to know that uh, how to save money on the ATM fee, which is you need to get a a Charles Schwab uh, card. They're the ones that rebate those uh, ATM fees, foreign ATM fees. Yes, so that is the thing that you have to um, be careful. And you, uh, we are sharing you about the tips that before to come to Vietnam. Yeah, and you have to come to Vietnam. Don't let this conversation ruin your, uh, you know, idea about going to Vietnam. It's one of our favorite places in the world. The people are lovely. The foods really good <laughs> everything about vietnam is a top notch for us it's one of our favorite countries oh yeah 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 that's true and stay tuned for that oh my god the food in danang is crazy yeah, the so weather good. in danang wow yeah we will show you the neighborhoods the restaurants <laughs> everything to do it's just such a great place you have to come to vietnam true. so at the, least that you don't need to tell them. There's a lot of the tourists and foreigners come to Vietnam. You still remember that uh, one um, um, guy told us that on the day, eight, uh, 15 August, start for the e-visa, the website is crashed. Yeah, the website crashed. There were so many people trying to come to Vietnam. Yeah. We, they, we were all waiting for the 90-day uh, you know, uh, visa, visa. With, for 25 bucks. And, also, and boom, it finally come. And also in Vietnam, that's in Da Nang so far, that I see that they have the most international tourists that I haven't seen in other parts of the Southeast Asia so far. I mean, yeah. it's, it's very, you know... Uh, it's like every country in the world. I mean, wow. we walk around and hear all these languages. It's Korean and... Uh, uh, Spanish, Spanish, Danish, French, you know, France, you know, American, Italian, Americans, Canadian. whatever The world language. is in... Vietnam. Yeah. It's such a delightful place that um, everyone hears about it and we come. So come see Vietnam. Sure. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you get some good information from here. Okay. See you next time. Bye bye.